Hello everybody, this is Petey from Bergsberg Arcade at BergsbergArcade.com and here we are with our next tutorial in the series. I don't remember the exact number. I know we're approaching around 180, but uh, I wanted to spend this one going with a bit of an overview of what we're going to do with the magic system, at least on our first iteration. So let's go ahead and I've actually thrown it in a Word document here. So let's just go ahead and take a look at this. So I know I'm going to want some sort of spell book and what the spell book is for is basically every time a player learns a new spell, it goes into the spell book. Now I want to have a certain bar set up for spells that the player can cast. And I want to limit the actual spells that they have available to them at any given time. I'm not exactly sure exact, well, how many I want to give them. Uh, I figure probably around eight to 10 is what I figure out I want my, my players to be able to have. Uh, but anyway, all the spells that they learn are going to go into this spell book. And then they just choose when they're in town or at some shrine or some of some spot. Like, you know, when they come to town to sell, it'd be a good time to, Know, switch up the spells that they have but anyway uh, that's when they come and they pick what spells you want put them on their tab and away they go and because of the random way we're going to be doing the spells at least the uh, the creation of the spells so you could have two spells the exact same but maybe this one does a little bit more damage and this one casts a little bit faster uh, if the player already has a spell in their spell book with a certain name and they end up getting another spell with the exact same name uh, then they can sit there and compare them and, you know, pop them both up on the screen for them. They can compare them and decide which one they want to keep. And then the other one's, well, it's lost for forever. Uh, and the next thing I want to do is, well, I've already talked about that. Now, the spell book is not something we're going to be covering in this wave of uh, the spell system. We'll come back to it. Uh, for now, I just want to actually hurry up and get the a castable spell going. So there's a few things I actually want to sit down and think about first. Uh, I want different rarities of spells, and they range from common to legendary. Now, we already had a rarity enum set up, and I've broken that out into the rarity.cs file. And we don't have legendary in there yet, and you don't actually have to have the same names that I do. These are just the names that I picked, and I might even actually add one before common, uh, a weak type. Uh, I'm not really sure, but I know I want at least four different levels of it. And of course, you know, the commons, you know, you, you, that's the most common one. They just get rare and rare as you go along. It's just a, a simple way to basically make things a little rare. So let's go ahead and look at spell types. Now, there's three basic types that I want for my spells. That's your standard AoE. You, th you target something, you throw out a fireball. It not only hits your target, but it hits everything else around it. Uh, then you have the single target version, you know, kind of like a lightning bolt. You have the target, you know, you cast your lightning bolt, it hits it. And then, of course, the buff and debuffs. And there's another one that I was playing around with uh, that dealt with line of sight. But I think line of sight is better off as uh, kind of a property on a spell as opposed to an actual spell type itself. I'm still not really sure yet because... I could see later on in the game, once the player's been playing, you know, for months, years, whatever, all of their skills, all of their spells not needing line of sight, that can give a huge imbalance. So it's something I really want to play around with. But anyway, I've gone ahead and started thinking about the different properties that I'm going to want to go ahead and throw onto uh, spells, you know, max target, uh, the max value, so either damage or the amount that can be buffed. And... I'm actually thinking about separating them out for the different types of spells. Uh, because, like I said, our, the way our spells are randomly generated, later on you can actually have mixtures. So not only can you have a spell that deals more than one different type of damage, that's actually something else I need to add here is damage type. But not only can you have a spell that deals more than one type of damage, uh, but it might actually deal some damage and debuff. So that's something we might want to separate out. Again, uh, this was just a quick draft. I threw together of stuff that I wanted to talk about. Uh, variance is basically just the variance off the, the max value. So for instance, a damage spell might have a max damage of, say, 100, and the variance might be 20%, so it's going to deal between 80 and 100. Uh, let me see. We have the max range. I don't really like in some games where you, you always have, you know, like if it's a range skill, it does, you know, up to 30 meters. If it's a medium range, it does 10 meters. If it's a, a melee spell, it does you know, up to four meters type thing. I like to have a little bit of variety in it. Like, it'd be really cool to be able to have something like 30, 31 meters or 32 meters or something like that on the you know, really rarer spells. 
uh, I think it adds an interesting dynamic to the game when someone has just that little bit more reach than you and you got to kind of get in there. And again, line of sight, I moved it down here as opposed from its own type. Uh, it might be something that I throw only on maybe rare or legendaries. Uh, but then again, eventually, it's not something I want someone to be able to get all the time, like all their skills. Uh, not needing line of sight, because like I said, I can see that leading down the road to just being completely broken because you just hide behind a wall and kill everyone. <laughs> So it's I want to keep it here, but it's something I'm going to have to play around with before I really find where I want it to go in my mix. Uh, another thing is a cooldown timer. Uh, certain skills, you know, it takes so long to cool down before you can cast them again. And I want it to be different for each spell. And again, I also want it to be a little bit uh, of a variance there between skill. Like, say, if I have a fireball and he has a fireball, uh, there might be a slight difference in timers. And, of course, the actual timer to cool down. I should really throw another one in here uh, for cooldown timer. And of course I'm going to want to flag to check to see if it is on cooldown. So cooldown variance. Okay, and the spell prefabs is not really a prefab as you think about in Unity. As in, you know, you make this prefab, you set it, set it up, uh, and then you just instantiate it. Uh, when you actually cast a spell, there's obviously going to be some sort of particle system. This is what I was, I guess, more or less referring to. And I want this particle system uh, to go, for instance, uh, let's say I'm casting a lightning bolt. I want to create this particle system that goes. It has its own collider on it and uh, some sort of script attached to it, basically saying you know, how much damage it does and everything else. But I think it would be really cool just to actually shoot it out into the environment and whatever it hits, that's... Uh, that's what gets dealt the damage to. Now, of course, if someone's hiding behind a tree type thing, and you know they're popping out, shooting at you and everything else, and you just throw one of your spells at it. It could hit the tree and just deal no damage to that person at all. So, again, it adds a little bit of you know skill to, to the game. Because you can now use your environment. And, of course, the random spell generator, that's just uh, what we're going to use to actually create spells. That's going to be pretty much the exact same as our item generator. But anyway, that's what we're going to be jumping into uh, for the next little while. So uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.